Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Gradle, one of the most powerful and modern build tools in the Java ecosystem. If you have ever worked with a Spring Boot app or Android project and wondered how everything gets compiled, tested, packaged and deployed so smoothly, there is a good chance Gradle is doing the heavy lifting behind the scenes. In this video, I will explain what Gradle is, how it compares to tools like Maven and what really happens when you run a simple build command in a real world Java project. Let's break it down step by step in plain language. What is Gradle? At its core, Gradle is a build automation tool. It helps developers automate everything from compiling source code and downloading dependencies to running tests and deploying applications. You can think of it as your project's invisible engineer, one that follows a specific set of instructions and does all the boring, repetitive work for you. But what makes Gradle special is how fast, flexible and developer-friendly it is. Unlike older tools like Ant that rely on XML files with lots of manual configurations, Gradle uses a Groovy or Kotlin-based DSL, which stands for Domain-Specific Language. That means you can write your build logic in code, not configuration. It's more readable, more powerful and much easier to customize. Let's see a typical real developer use case. Let's say you are building a Spring Boot web application. You've got multiple Java classes, some front-end templates, and a few third-party libraries like Jackson for JSON, Spring Web for REST, and maybe MySQL for your database. Now you need to compile the code, resolve those dependencies, package everything into a runnable jar file, and make sure it works across all team members' machines. This is where Gradle comes in. You write a build.gradle file at the root of your project. In that file, you declare which plugins you want to use, like the Java plugin or the Spring Boot plugin. Then you list your dependencies like Spring Web and Lombok. Now when you run a command like gradle build, gradle will automatically fetch those libraries from an online repository, compile your code, run your unit test and generate a jar file, all based on what you defined in your build file. One thing developers love about Gradle is how smart it is. Gradle doesn't rebuild your entire project every time. It uses something called incremental builds. So if you change just one file, it only recompiles that part. This makes builds faster, especially in large code bases. Another key feature is the build cache. If a build task was already completed before with the same inputs, Gradle can skip it and reuse the previous result. That saves time on every build. Gradle is also highly extensible. You can write custom tasks in Groovy or Kotlin and plug in tools like Docker, Kubernetes or SonarCube with just a few lines of code. That gives teams full control over how their software gets built and deployed. Now you might be wondering, how is Gradle different from Maven? Well, both tools solve the same problem. They manage builds and dependencies. But Maven uses XML for its configuration, which is more verbose and less flexible. Gradle uses a programming language so you get logic, conditions and better customization out of the box. Also, Gradle is generally faster because of features like incremental builds and parallel task execution. That's why large projects, especially Android apps, tend to prefer Gradle today. In fact, Android Studio uses Gradle as its default build system for all Android projects. So to wrap it up, Gradle is a modern, fast and flexible tool that automates the build process for your Java or Android projects. Whether you are compiling code, managing dependencies, running tests or packaging your app, Gradle makes it all easier, more powerful and much faster than doing it by hand. It gives you clean, repeatable builds across your entire team and helps you spend more time writing code and less time managing it. If this helps simplify Gradle for you, give it a like and subscribe for more developer-friendly tutorials. Until next time, keep learning and keep building.